Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our feature bout. It is scheduled for 12 rounds, and it will be for the vacant British Heavyweight Championship. Brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensberry Promotions, along with their great sponsors, 32 Red and Foot Asylum. It is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, steward in charge, Dean Hollington. Our three judges, all from England, John Latham, Steve Gray, and Bob Williams. When the bell rings, our referee in charge will be Victor Lachlan of Scotland. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived! Live from the O2 Arena here in London, England, this is our main event of the evening! Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing black with white and gold and weighed in at 18 stone, four pounds. Coming to us from Nantwich, Cheshire, England. He brings an undefeated record with 16 wins. 11 of his 16 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former undefeated Central Area and WBC International Silver Heavyweight Champion, Nathan Gorman! And his opponent across the ring in this main event, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing black trunks and weighed in at 17 stone, one pound. Hailing from Greenwich, London, England. He is undefeated with 11 wins. 10 of his 11 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former undefeated English Southern Area WBC Youth, WBO European, and the current WBO Global Heavyweight Champion, Triple D, Daniel Dynamite Okay, you've had your instructions in the dressing room. Remember, obey my commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all time. God bless. Touch them. Touch them. So many opinions, so much talking. Not too much from this fella. A little bit more from him. The opinion of the boxing world is divided. Which of the two young guns is going to emerge with the Lonsdale Second belt and be Round the one. British heavyweight champion. Dubois, the big puncher, surely likely to start fast. A couple of nice little left hooks here, though, from Gorman, showing that hand speed. Like with every big puncher, you've got to make the guy feel your power early. That's got to be the tactic here for, for Dubois. Who's going to be physically the stronger? That's going to be a key. One of several. Foot speed, accuracy and composure on this big occasion, an electric atmosphere. Look at right hand for the barber, a lovely little counter straight back there with a the fast little right hand off the ropes there from Gorman. Gorman sometimes looked indifferent when he's been the one having to force the pace. He's not going to have to go looking for Dubois. Lovely uppercut there from Gorman as well. It's a good jab there from Dubai then, and just take a little step back as well. She's so throwing that jab there, Dubai. And what's Gorman doing? He's just slipping to the left. Or to the right, I should say, sorry, on the outside of the jab, just so Gorman, uh, Dubai can get that right hand over the top. Gorman trying to show his physical strength in that exchange. Oh, 
Missed with the right hand, but a good jab there from Dubois. He needs a lot of them. His best work will come off that jab. That's a decent right hand as well from Dubois. Victor Lochran's going to have to be strict with this. Good, good work there from Dubois. Yeah. Heads going in close. Oh, hello. Call to break was made and Gorman landing the left hand. He'll claim, of course, that he didn't hear. <laughs> Good lead again from Dubois. Yeah, and a little step back as well because Gorman's been countering him for early in the round and he's taking a little little adjustment there from Dubois. Well, we're coming into the last few seconds of a relatively quiet opening round. Gorman had the better of the early exchanges. Dubois has just warmed to the task a little the further the round has progressed. Interesting, as it was always going to be. Ricky Hatton, always one of the great talkers of British boxing. Tight, tight opening round. Could make an argument either way, Barry. Dubois came on strong the further it went. Yeah, and I, and I just favoured that, that he was just a little bit more aggressive. That was all, I think, in the early part of the round. It looked like Gorman was counting him really well. I just think, think Dubois made a little adjustment. Good jab there from Dubois, and a right hand. Oh, he's looking to unload here, Dubois. Gorman needs to keep his concentration. But to be fair to Coleman, he's calling him on, and even though he got caught with a couple of shots, I don't think anything troubled him as much. And he was firing back. But Dubai was the one who was landing on the target. Good jab deal there from Gorman. I'd like to see Gorman just get a little bit lower and then double jab coming forward. Just get underneath the jab there of Dubois. Amazing physique Dubois came in with Frank Bruno, and a lot about Dubois reminiscent of the young Bruno. Right hand from Dubois, only a glancing blow on the bearded face of Gorman. Gorman so pale-skinned, every punch which lands will just make a little bit of a mark on his head. There's another right hand from Dubois. Good shot from Dubois, but because he's not willing to, to step in behind it too much because he knows Gorman's going to counter. Gorman's used the ropes just to take the sting a lot to the shot. But still, Dubai the busier again in this round, not ever so slightly. The jab has been the superior punch, that's been the principal difference between the two, I reckon, Barry. Yeah, and also, the, the, Gorman knows he, doesn't, he can't make any silly mistakes. Oh, good shot, good right hand there, and they're both swinging. And again, but a good right hand there from Gorman. Yeah, Dubois was caught coming back, but Dubois the one on the front foot. Seven wins he's had inside two rounds, and we're into the last minute of this second round here. And there's a cut around the left eye of Nathan Gorman. He's been cut, presumably by a punch. There'll be work in that Gorman corner for that. It's around the eyebrow of the left eye. He's trying to fire Gorman when, when Dubai throws that right hand, but I think Jamie he needs Sheldon to fire is going to be doing the cuts jab. in the Gorman corner. This is a good round for Daniel Dubois. Gorman's going to get his jab in the play, really has. It's an old cliche, be first, and Daniel Dubois is definitely the man who is being first here. Right hand right over the top from Gorman, but... Dubois rode it well, and that's a good round for Daniel Dubois. And there's Frank Bruno watching on who's been acting a little bit as a mentor for Daniel Round Dubois three. in the run-up to this.
Lennox Lewis apparently has also been in touch giving his advice. Good start for Dubois then in this fight as we move into the third round. Well, it is. You know, the first round, I think, was up for grabs most definitely, but the second round was a good round there for Dubois. Oh, Dubois big right hand from Dubois, and he's down for the first time. It was a clubbing right hand around the temple, I think, and the blood is starting to flow again, and dangerous, anxious times for Nathan Gorman. Dubois now will move in looking to finish this. Another big right hand. Gorman fighting on instinct. He is trying to fight back against Dubois, but Dubois is relentless. Oh, not far with that left hook there, or just missed by inches with that left hook there, Gorman. Tyson Fury on his feet, urging Gorman forward. A risky business there by Gorman, but the fact that he fired back have just slowed down. Dubois' attack, oh, good right hand there for Dubois, puts Gorman again there. Still got some fight in him here, Nathan Gorman. He is not finished yet. The knockdown for Dubois. But Gorman has come back, bravely. It's that body shot he throws that Richie Wooder was talking about just before the fight. Here comes Dubois again, Gorman managing to parry those. I think the left hook just got wrong to guard though there, John, I think, for Dubois. Gorman showing some grit here, mind. I just think that Gorman hasn't thrown the jab, I think that, that there, that's better for him, just to stop Dubois walking right up to him. Dubois put a lot into this round. of left hand from Dubois. Gorman being beaten to the punch by that jab of Dubois. Yeah, he's, but he's not using his own, but he did slip that shot, to be fair there, Gorman. But you got to get lower, and you got to double that jab. He's trying to get in there and bully Dubois. Using that weight advantage that he's got and fair play to Nathan Gorman in a lot of trouble early in that third round the knockdown was there but he survived and seen it through to the bell to end the third big round again though for Dubois Four. We move into the fourth. A dominant performance from Daniel Dubois so far. Gorman bravely trying to rally in that third round. Fast start again from Dubois here in the fourth. Just stepped up a little bit too close there, Dubois. He needs just to keep that, maintaining a little bit more distance. Should, he should jab to the chest now, Dubai, then throw that right hand over the top. Because Gorman just, every, every now and again, he just rides the punch, just takes a little bit of the sting out of the shot. But if he has to drop his hands, maybe he'll just take it to the chest, stops the movement. Gets a clear line there with that right hand. Solid body shots there from Dubois. But if Gorman can slip inside the shot rather than try and lean back out of it, if he can just try and slip, have the confidence there to come over his shoulder, then he's right where he wants to be. He's inside there for that uppercut, the hook. 
So he's leaning back, trying to throw that long left hook, but he's obviously he's the short, the guy with the, with, the, with the shorter reach, and he's not quite hitting the target like he normally would. But if he, if he slips inside, dips that right shoulder forward. Well, there's the shock of the cuts, which was undoubtedly a contributory factor to the knockdown. Gorman needs some big success to get back into this fight. That's exactly it. A bit of just, that just changes mental outlook a bit, a bit more positive then with his approach. No, he's expect, it looks like he's expecting something big, doesn't it, all the time? Just lost, just lost a little bit of confidence. Maybe hoping that Dubois will be a storm which will blow out, and if he sees it through... But it doesn't really look that way right now. Good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Two quality uppercuts off the ropes from Gorman. See a bit of confidence, any south throwing the jab, and that's what has been missing from him. Frank Warren, of good course, jab. insistent that Dubois not only a brilliant British prospect and indeed Gorman. But he's saying they're two of the brightest prospects in the world. At the moment, it's Dubois who's bossing it. So the fifth round coming up. And Dubois on Barry's card has a significant advantage. The knockdown in that third round. Except for the first round, which was really up for grabs, I think. That the I think the last three rounds have been quite easy to score. Even though we could see on the, on the screen, you could see the corner of Dubois. Or could have took there from Gorman. I was, I was looking at Ricky Hatton in the corner. He was saying what we were saying about slipping inside the jab. He was asking Gorman to slip inside the jab. Be a little bit more confident with your movement. Well. When he leans back, oh, good right hand there from Dubois. And he's in trouble again here, Gorman. Staggered and now wanting to cover up. Trying to unleash some power shots of his own, but Dubois getting the better of the exchanges. He hurt Gorman a little bit there, but what is with Gorman leaning back and swinging with that left hook? He gets caught there again, see? He's right on the end of the shot. And the problem we got with that, that's probably works for him all the time against other, other opponents. So it's almost like a habit of the thing. It's a habit he has. Does it every time, leans back, but now it's not working tonight, so we've got to slip inside. Be confident to sit in that pocket. Nathan Gorman saying that in all the rounds they sparred as amateurs with the GB oh. squad, he bossed a lot of them. Well, he's not bossing this. Good body shot there from Dubois. And Gorman trying to fight back. He needs a big shot from somewhere, Gorman. Takes a good shot, my Gorman, you've got to be honest. Oh, hello. Can't do that. People have said that Nathan Gorman is too nice to be a top-class boxer. Well, he doesn't want to be nice now. What he's not doing, he's not using the jab. He got faster feet, so even though the other guy got a longer reach, you use that footwork to get in and out with that left hand. Oh. Good left hook from the bar, but nice little sneaky right uppercut then from Gorman. Dubois was told by Martin Bowers between rounds, just stick to your boxing, stop trying to hurt him, just jab your way in and just box. Beat him up, beat him up he said. Yeah. Well, yeah, but do yeah. it through yeah, boxing, yeah, that's the point. Oh, oh hello. Well, he certainly has done now. And that could be the end. Gorman is bravely trying to get to his feet. And he's out! He's been counted out. He thought he'd got up in time, but he hasn't. And the champion is Daniel Dubois. The argument is ended. And the young lion, who has proved superb on the night, is Daniel Dubois. Too much from pretty much the word go. He was the superior man, and he has answered the debate. He is the champion.
and it was a f he needed his best display of his career so far and he, for me he showed it tonight because all the all the advantages that du that Gorman had over Dubois and there was plenty of them he took that away by taking a centre of the ring pushing Gorman back and not allowing him to use that foot speed that hand speed with a real solid left hand and those big clubbing right hands and he just used that physical size that strength and he sort of and Gorman was fighting back and he was game as game as it come but I think in many ways Dubai bullied him around the ring and didn't allow Gorman any sort of momentum coming forward I think Gorman will regret not using that jab but maybe Dubai didn't allow it by putting pressure with that front foot and that solid left hand of Dubai it might not look like it has to snap to knock you out but we've seen it there the power it has to push you back and put you down well that is a performance which is unquestionably going to be commanding headlines and one which is going to have reverberations around the boxing world he was very good tonight dominant tonight and he looked fit he looked like he had plenty in the tank still there's also criticism that he might blow out of steam because he's muscle bound but he looked nice and relaxed he looks he looked strong look at that there it's lovely there nice little jab, double jab there and a right hand there on the top of the head that's it see what one of those jabs did that did that for that damage there that second jab is a beautiful shot and the right hand for me all just helps him on his way look at the second jab right on the button the second jab right on the button then that right down the top of the head and Gorman did the right thing he tried to take the knee tried to get his feet solid under him just couldn't got up a little bit too late got the timing a bit wrong but knew it was the right decision he says look I was up but even if he had been allowed to stay up if they'd been allowed to continue surely the answer to how the fight was going to unfold by that stage was inevitable good performance from daniel dubois sporting together and nathan gorman recognizing that dubois tonight was by a little bit of a distance the superior man he was and do you know it was a good performance by dubois because gorman was tricky at some point he was fighting back in the first couple of rounds and especially the first round so so and I think Dubois, which we didn't give him no credit for, made adjustments. Because in the first round, he was just holding his feet, thinking my power's going to tell. Then in the second round, he started to take a little step back and then throw again. And that shows an intelligence that we didn't think he had. And that, that bodes well. Now he's moving up, you know, because he's going to move up right in the levels now. He's, in the, he's, he's already now on the sphere of world level. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 41 seconds of round number five. Our referee in charge, Victor Laughlin, reaches the count of 10. Therefore, your winner by way of count out. And now the British heavyweight champion, Triple D, Daniel Dynamite Dubois. Really good performance. And there is the famous belt, the Lonsdale belt, perhaps the most beautiful belt in world boxing. And it is now Daniel Dubois' property.